junkies. Really appreciate you guys clicking on the video. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, definitely subscribe. Don't forget to ring that bell the way you guys get notified. Every time I pump out a new video, smash the thumbs up. If you like the video, leave some comments down below. Let's hop into this real vault video, okay? Uh, one thing I want to say real fast before we jump into that, TJ81 shirts. They all shipped out last week, so if you guys did order one, you should have them by now. If by chance they didn't show up, let me know. I didn't send tracking just because there's a lot of people to send tracking to. I just figured since I did priority, you guys will get it in a few days anyway, so you should have them by now. Again, if you don't, let me know, and I'll look up the tracking to see where it's at. I do have a few long sleeve performance left in extra large, and I got about 30 short sleeve left. I think the biggest I have in those is extra large, and I got some large, uh, maybe some medium and small, not really for sure. But again, the long sleeve, all I do have left is a few in extra large. I only got one left of this green. I only had a few of these made up. Of course, I had to keep one. I think I got one left. Anyway, so if you want one, email me, which is down in the description. Message me on Facebook or Instagram. Long sleeves are 25, I believe. Short sleeves are 22, seven bucks shipping. All right. Now, let's go ahead and dig into this. I'm sure some of you guys are going to ask. These are Akuma Nomad Reel Bags. I got like half a dozen of these things. They're awesome to store your reels. I've used them for camera bags. It's just a good all around bag. But again, I have all my Daiwa reels in here. And I did want to make this video because a lot of you guys have been with the channel for a while and you know that I used to use a lot of Daiwa reels. And you guys were wondering what happened to them and why I don't use them anymore. And guys, if you've watched the videos, I still use Daiwa reels from time to time. It just depends what I'm doing and things like that. I do have three right here, which you guys probably can't see on the table here that I used last season. I got a Steez A on order, um, the Daiwa Elite. So, I mean, I still use Daiwa reels, but there's reasons why I don't use them um, on all my combos. Again, which we'll get into that. So, anyways, this was the very first Daiwa reel that I bought, which is the Daiwa Tatula TWS. Okay, it's got the T-Wing system on there. If you guys can see that. Fantastic reel. This is, to this day, this reel is still a workhorse. And another reason, guys, I wanted to make this video. When I reviewed the Fuego, okay, I reviewed the Fuego, Somebody had made a uh, comment about, oh, this video is about why you don't like Daiwa, or I don't know, something stupid like that. I don't remember what it was. But um, anyways, guys, I don't want you guys to take that the wrong way or take the way I do reviews the wrong way. Okay, you guys know I am sponsored by Akuma, okay? Those are the main reels that I like to use. That being said, I do use other brands, okay? I, li I like to use the right reel for the job. I like to use what's most comfortable for me, and again, like I said in my last reel review, I like a reel that can do everything. Light line, heavy line, light lures, heavy lures, okay? I don't like switching from, you know, a bigger, heavier reel to like a little, you know, SV-105. You know, that will throw you off throughout the day for such a light combo to a heavier combo. Again, I like a reel that can do everything, okay? That being said, this reel right here, a fantastic power fishing reel. Again, it's, I have a bigger hand. It fits in my hand really well. I can palm it really well. But it was never really great for lighter lures. Now, a lot of guys think it's all about the reel. When you're trying to cast lighter lures, the line and the rod um, play just a bigger role as the reel. So keep that in mind when you are trying to toss lighter lures. But again, I didn't feel it was a, a great reel for lighter baits. From there, now the CT came out a little bit later, I believe. I want to say, I'm trying to wing this, guys, as far as when these came out, because honestly, I really don't know. Um, I tell you what, after that one, I did pick up some of the Zillions, okay? These are not, I don't believe these are the SV spool. This is just your um, Zillion, I believe it's the same frame size as that Tatula, okay? Fantastic reel, again, just an upgrade from the Tatula. I mean, it's... It just feels way more, you know, refined or whatever. I mean, it's a solid, solid feeling reel. Again, not great with lighter baits, okay? But again, a fantastic reel. I think I had the Tattoolist like the first season. The season after that, I bought a bunch of Zillions, which I do believe I have a video comparing 
the zillion, the tattoos, and all that. If I can even find that video, I mean, it's old. I'll link that down below as well. But again, it wasn't a reel that I could toss really um, light baits on. But again, a fantastic power fishing reel. Swim baits, crank baits, spinner baits, things like that. Man, this reel here is awesome. Okay? And again, I do have a few of these in here as well. I got 5.5, five, I got a, what's this one, a 6.3. I do like the lower gear ratio reels. I mean, I, I do a lot of power fishing. You don't, you're not going to see too many 8.1s in my arsenal, again, just because I don't do a ton of pitching and flipping. When I do, I use a 7-speed just because I can use that for other things as well. It's just more versatile, you know. Anyway, so from the Tatulas, I did go to the Zillions. All right, and then just, you know, I guess we'll just kind of stick with the Tatula, and then we'll go to some of the other higher-end ones. But again, I used the higher-end reels when I realized I really couldn't throw lighter baits with the Tats and the Zillions. That's kind of when I got into the SVs and things like that. But we'll go ahead and kind of stick with the tattoos there. I do have one in here, which is pretty cool. This one here is the Tactical uh, Tattoo. This was like a Tackle Warehouse exclusive. I mean, all matte black finish there. I mean, all blacked out. Pretty sick looking reel. I only used this one a few times here. But um, I believe it did. Maybe it had a little bit bigger handle. I don't really remember all the different specs from one to the other. I mean, Daiwa changes things. So much, it's really hard to keep up with what's different from one reel to the other because they bring a new reel out like every three months, it seems like. But anyways, anyway, and guys, don't take this the way that um, I'm down to Daiwa. You can see I love Daiwa reels. Again, I was just looking for that one reel that wasn't too expensive that I felt could do everything, and it's kind of why I got away from some of these reels. But obviously, guys, I love Daiwa reels, so don't don't take that the wrong way. Anyways, though, this is the tactical here. Um, awesome, awesome reel here. Getting all blacked out. Pretty killer. All right, from there, again, I don't know which one came on first. Let's talk about the the Type R. Man, these reels, again, I bought these just because, you know, they just looked awesome. And, again, don't quote me on this. I believe the main difference between these and the Tattoo, I believe it was just maybe upgraded spool bearings. Could be wrong. I believe that's what it was. And I don't even really know if there was much of a difference as far as Casting and all that it just looked killer. So I bought them. You know, I do have a few of these in here as well I got one two I actually thought I had more than that I thought I had uh, I do have three in here. I have two I think in the seven speed It has six three here and two in the seven three you know that like that really matters But anyways, the majority of my reels are gonna be six speeds and uh, seven speeds, but again awesome reel here but um, I mainly bought it for that that red finish on there. It looks it looks awesome. Okay, from there we do have the CT. Now this would be the reel that I recommend the most. We do have a couple five fives in here, and then we have a what's in here a six three. Now five fives I used to use all the time for crank baits and spinner baits, and then I just kind of got myself used to using a six speed. See, my problem is I reel like way too fast. So I would always use the five speeds to kind of help slow me down. But again, I tried to adjust more to the six speed. That way, again, I could have kind of less combos with me and I could do more with them just because, again, the six speed to me is the most versatile and I use it the most. But again, yeah, the CT is probably the reel um, that I recommend the most to this day. If you guys are looking for a reel in the $100, $130 price point, check out the CT. Fantastic reel here. I'm sure you can find them cheaper than that. A lot of guys say, hey, what's the best reel for 100 bucks? Normally I say, save up a few extra bucks and get the CT. But again, I can imagine you can shop around and still find them for 100 bucks. So killer, killer reel here. And that's kind of really when I reviewed the Fuego over here. That's kind of what I was saying. You know, yeah, you can get this reel for like 80 bucks over there at Carl's. Definitely check that out, guys. I'll link them down below. I believe they're 100 retail. If you're a club member over at Carl's, I believe they're around 80 bucks again, which is... A killer price for that reel. That being said, I always got to compare it to the Big Brother here. You know, if you're going to spend the 80 on the Fuego, I'd spend the extra 20 or 50, shop around and get the CT just because I do believe it's that much better of a reel compared to the Fuego. Again, guys are saying, oh, you just don't like Daiwa. That's why you're recommending the SLX and the Pro Qualifier. No, I'm recommending what reel I feel is best at that price point. I'm not going to recommend something. Just because I'm partnered with that company, I try to recommend the right reel or the right rod or lure for your needs. Again, I don't let the sponsors come into play 
in my decision or my answer for you guys. So again, yes, I reviewed the Fuego Real, but I want to let you guys know at that price point, there are better options in my opinion. Okay, so we went over most of the tests. Now, when it was coming to toss lighter lures, that's when I started getting into the SV-105s. Again, very, very small reel. I mean, I do have a big hand, but I can pretty much hide that entire reel in my hand here. I do have three of these, I believe all in a seven speed. Where are these even at on here? HS, which I do believe that's a, a seven speed made in Japan. Yeah, I don't know. I'm pretty sure these are seven speeds. I do believe I have one here. I got one here and I got another one here. Okay, so I got three of these, get all seven speeds. I like these for lighter baits, uh, finesse type deals, shaky heads, you know, Nico Ricks, just anything that I'm going to be using a rod to work the bait that's lightweight. I would use these reels because they cast really, really well with light lures. Again, I also use these for top waters and things like that. Just because a reel is so small, you can really palm it well and walk the dog and things like that. But again, for my finesse type deal or finesse type rigs, whatever, um, throwing that lighter line, lighter baits, these were my go-to. But that's really where I started to notice going from the Tatula, much bigger, heavier reel, going to the SV-105, it would just throw me off throughout the day. So that's kind of where I started looking for a reel that could do everything that felt the same with all my combo. That's kind of where that started with these two right here. These really wouldn't throw light baits well. These would, but again, they just felt so much different in hand that I didn't really care for that, okay? So anyways, we do have a few of the SV-105s, and then we do have one. This is the SSSV-105, I believe. And I thought, again, I don't know all the ins and outs on the diver reels. I believe some guys say the SSSV here is just a couple bearings short of a steez. It's basically a steez. Again, I don't take my word for that. I thought that's what most guys say. Anyways, this one here is a seven speed, I believe as well, uh, 103 SH. But uh, again, fantastic reel for those lighter baits and things like that. One thing about these reels, you can see they have very small handles on them. So if I was going to continue to use these, I would definitely upgrade those handles to a much bigger handle. But um, fantastic reels, super smooth. Again, they would cast light baits, heavy baits, a good way. So if you're looking for a reel um, to throw a lighter bait, at that time, these were the ones that I went with. Again, the SV-105, the SSSV, fantastic reels. Um, but again, I mean, these were two something, 260, 280, something like that. Again, don't quote me on the price. It was a long time ago. But again, it wasn't a reel that um, was very budget friendly or anything like that. So again, just the fact that they were more expensive reels, again, the weight difference, the feel in hand compared one to the other, that's kind of what was getting me away from some of the dial reels. But again, you guys still see me use them to this day. I still enjoy using them. Just not a reel that I want on all my combos. So again, that's kind of what I was saying with that SX review. There's, of course, there's other reels that can do what the SX does, but at what price point are they? You know what I'm saying? So from there, we went to the Zillion. Okay, Zillion SV. Again, looking for a fantastic power fishing reel, but then a reel that can throw lighter baits right here. The Zillion SV had no problem doing that, but again, you're talking a $300 price tag on this reel right here. Man, it's, they are buttery smooth, like a, like a fine watch right here. I mean, these are awesome, awesome reels. And again, from time to time, I do break some of these out, but again, not reels I want on all my combos, you know, something like that. Okay, I think I did say the last one, the best for last, you guys always ask, what is like my, my favorite reel? Why am I not seeing it here? Um, oh, it's right here in front of me. You guys always ask if I could have one reel, like my favorite reel, it'd be this one right here. Now I did have another one that I sold. This one here, I don't even think I've used just because I knew this, I wanted this reel to stay like in pristine condition and um, I mean, it's a fantastic reel. This is the SV-103 XS. Okay, XS, I believe it's like, yeah, 7.9. You can see right there on the side plate, 7.9. But that is, it's an awesome reel, man. It's a workhorse. Again, it's kind of like, it's kind of like your Rolex. 
It is a fantastic reel. Again, I sold the one that I had. This one here I don't believe I even used yet. Again, I just wanted to keep it nice. Kind of like a collector thing. I don't believe they make this reel anymore, but man, it is a awesome, awesome reel. Again, my favorite reel of all the reels that I have at this moment would be the SV-103. Let's move these to the side, to the side here. That being said, guys, okay, you guys know that again, I did review the Fuego. Okay, two that I have not reviewed yet that I want to, which I have plenty of time with these reels. I used these all last season. I just didn't get around to doing the review. Okay, this one here is the Tatula 100. And this one here is the Tatula SV, okay? I believe the SV here is around 200 bucks. And I do believe the 100 here could be around 160, 170. Um, both are fantastic reels. When I do these reviews, you guys, um, I'm sure you're gonna buy them because I mean, I got nothing negative to say. Awesome reels for sure. Again, I don't believe the 100 here is great for lighter lures. Again, fantastic power fishing reel. I used it a lot for spinnerbaits and crankbaits last year. Absolutely love it. But if I was going to say, okay, if you're a Daiwa fan, okay, if I was going to say, hey, what one reel uh, would compare to the SX as far as being able to do everything that it can do, it's going to be the SV right here, Tatula SV. Again, it throws lighter baits really well. Um, it's a great power fishing reel. Uh, throws heavier baits just fine. I have 12 pound test on here that I was using for, looks like chatter baits last time out. But again, it throws lighter baits really, really well. To me, it would just come down to feel in hand, a little bit more bigger and bulky compared to the SX. Again, that's why I prefer the SX over this reel. But again, if you're looking for another brand other than Akuma that I feel can do just about everything, it would be this one right here. Again, same price point. Again, I take that back. The um, SX, SX is 220. This one here, I believe, is 200. Now, I didn't even know it. When I did that review on the SX, a lot of you guys were making comments down in the comment section that Tackle Warehouse had that reel for like 150. Again, I didn't know that at the time. So if you guys picked it up on sale for 150, you guys got one heck of a deal because it is an awesome reel. But again, if I'm going to compare uh, this reel to that reel or vice versa, this would be one of the reels that I would say can do everything that SX, that the SX could do again. And it's really 20 bucks cheaper as well. It's all going to come down to feel in hand, maybe braking system, things like that. That's another thing that I didn't care for with the dial reels. I was constantly turning that dial and not realizing I was doing it. So I'd be making casts. Next thing you know, I wouldn't be casting as far. I keep adjusting my tension. Now I'm like, what the heck is going on here? Then I realized every time you set the hook or you just grab the reel tight, you're moving that and you're not really noticing it. So again, for this type of braking system, I do prefer it to be recessed in the side plate, kind of like the pro qualifiers. That would be fantastic. Again, that's really my only complaint with complaint with these Daiwa reels. But again, uh, it's all gonna come down to feel in hand, personal preference, maybe brand preference, again, braking system, things like that. But again, if you guys are looking for a reel in that price range that I feel can do it all, it would be this one right here. So guys, that is kind of like the real vaults. Again, you guys know I got other reels behind the wall here, but this is all my Daiwa reels that I own. Again, I do have the Elite, the Steez A on the way, just those two from Daiwa. And I do have a few on the way from Shimano that we're going to review next year. But guys, again, I try and keep it real with you guys. I wanted to kind of lay that out for you guys, letting you guys know why I stopped using Daiwa exclusively. That's pretty much why. I was looking for a reel that could do it all. And I found that with Akuma. But again, Daiwa makes a fantastic reel. If you guys have any questions on these reels that I mentioned, feel free to leave those down in the comments. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Smash the thumbs up if you did. We will see you guys on the next one.